The member for Warringah has the Thank call. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Prime Minister, to quote Brittany Higgins, the system is broken, and your own words just now, that you want to see people safe. You have the power, being in government, to today make all Australians, especially members of parliament, liable for and protected from sexual harassment in the workplace by supporting the Sex Discrimination Amendment Bill introduced to the parliament this morning. Will you do so? If your answer is we're working on it, that is not good enough. The members holding up those placards will put them down and the attendants will collect them and the Prime Minister has the call. The member for Clark will resume his seat and the Prime Minister has the call. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I thank the member for her question. Of course, the government is committed to ensuring that Australia's legal frameworks are effective in preventing and responding to sexual harassment. Um, the question of how best to address sexual assault, though, uh, which is the subject of your bill, um, should be informed by the findings of the inquiries into sexual assault allegations that have been announced. Uh, the issue of sexual harassment was also, as has been noted earlier today, the subject of the Respect at Work report and Law Council of Australia's recent National Action Plan. And although the government appreciates the members' efforts, we note that the draft bill goes beyond the recommendations of those documents. And we would be happy uh, to keep the member informed on the government's progress on its consultations and possible legislative reform.